Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome back to my channel Code with Arohi. So in my today's video, I'll explain you what are stack GANs. So guys, there are different kind of GAN networks. So in my today's class, we'll focus on stack GAN. So majorly with the help of stack GAN, we can perform various functionalities and one of them is text to image generation. Means you'll give text to your algorithm and it will generate an image as output. So for example, you can see these examples. So input text. So this red sedan car. This is the input I'm giving to the model and this is the output which you'll get from text to image generation. And let's say you're giving this input bird with brown wings and yellow beak and this will be the output you'll get. And in the same way, if you'll give this input red roses with green leaves and green stem and you'll get this image. So now how StackGAN, how StackGAN is um, giving, how StackGAN is able to convert these text into a uh, image. So basically they, the StackGAN learn from the feature representation, learn from the features, right? That captures important visual detail. So what is the visual detail in this line? Red is a visual detail, sedan and car. So this style gain will capture these visual details and from the second line also bird is a visual detail, brown wings, yellow beak is a visual detail and over here red rose, green leaves and green stem. So on the basis of these visual details, it generate the image which looks real okay which looks like a real image okay so this is what stack can do now okay now let's understand about stack gan but before that let me just give you a brief idea what is uh, gan network because in our today's class we are going to compare stack gan with the normal gan network so let me just give you a brief idea on that so how normal gan network works so in every gan network we have generator and discriminator generator um, uh, generator will generate a fake image and that image will go to discriminator and the task of discriminator is to distinguish between the real sample and the fake sample. So this discriminator is basically um, a classifier, right? So this discriminator will give you an output as one if the image is a real image and it will give you an output as zero if the image is a fake image, okay? And the, this task of generator is, see, what is the main motive of this generator component? So, generator wants to generate sample in such a way that discriminator makes a mistake in calling them out as a real sample. Okay, this is the main goal of generator. And the main goal of discriminator is to identify whether the uh, sample which is given to discriminator is a fake or a sample if the sample is fake it should give output as a zero and if the sample is real then it should give output as a one okay so this is how normal gan network work now let's see how stack gan work before okay uh, uh let's discuss stack gan so first of all what i'm telling you is what kind of input uh, stack gan will accept what kind of input uh, generator of stack gan will accept and what kind of input uh, discriminator of stack gan will accept because the input to generator and the input to discriminator in stack gan would be different from the inputs which we give to generator and discriminator of a uh, vanilla style gan okay uh, gan networks so before giving an input to generator so what is the task we want to generate images from text so this is the textual description simply means the sentence on the basis of which we want to generate an image so the sentence is here that sentence will get converted into a text embedding now what is this text embedding is see text embedding simply means a vector of a uh, real number we want to convert a sentence into a vector of real number of fixed length okay and once we convert our sentence into a text embedding we will concatenate the noise with that embedding vector the embedding vector which we have created over here we will combine that vector with the random noise 
एंड देन दैट एम्बेडिंग वेक्टर विल बिकम अ इनपुट टू जनरेटर ओके सो वी आर नॉट गिविंग टेक्स्ट सेंटेंसेस डायरेक्टली टू जनरेटर बिफोर गिविंग टेक्स्ट सेंटेंसेस टू जनरेटर वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दैट सेंटेंस इनटू अ एम्बेडिंग वेक्टर इनटू अ नंबर रियल नंबर वेक्टर ऑफ नंबर्स दोज नंबर्स एंड विल एड सम नॉइज इन इट एंड दैट एम्बेडिंग वेक्टर विल बिकम अ इनपुट टू जनरेटर ओके and this generator will generate a fake image as other generator does right but over here this generator will generate a image on the basis of the text uh, embedding which we have provided okay because obviously we want to generate the image which is related to which is you know um which uh looks like the content which is there in the text embedding okay so this generator will generate a image based on that text embedding which we have given to the uh, generator as a input okay so this is how generator work in stack gen now input to discriminator in stack gen is a pair of image with the related text means image and what is the text for it right so always in stack gen we give whenever we want to work on image to take uh, sorry text to image generation we give data we give input to discriminator in the form of pair what is there in that pair image with the text okay and discriminator will give us a output in the form of 0 and 1 because discriminator is a a uh, classifier zero will be the output if the sample is a fake sample and one will be the output if the sample is a real sample okay now let's understand this thing uh let's understand uh, this discriminator in more detail right so uh, now let's understand how we train discriminator right what is the training process of discriminator in stack gens so this is what i've just told you input would be the form of a pair and this would be the output now what kind of pairs we are talking about here so just see this table real image with real caption so we provide such uh, we provide some data to our discriminator where we pair up real images with real captions and we uh, mark output variable as one means we are telling when the image is real and the caption is real then uh, we are telling discriminator that output should be one and one kind of pair is if image is wrong image we will give some data to discriminator where we have paired wrong images with real captions and we are telling over here to discriminator if ima wrong image is paired with real caption then you have to give zero as a output okay and in this third thing fake image real caption image is a fake means which is generated by this generator but caption is real so in that case also discriminator have to give output as zero so this kind of data we provide to discriminator to train our discriminator okay right guys okay now okay so this is the final image of stack gen over here i have explained the whole functionality of stack gen now let me uh, uh, let me uh, tell you how this works so we start with the input text because the problem is what we want to find is what we want to perform is text to image generation so we are giving this text to uh, a model so the text is this card is of red color so the very first thing which you need to perform is you need to perform embedding vector embedding vector simply means i have just told you few minutes uh, back also embedding vector simply means to convert your text into the vector of real uh, real numbers of fixed length okay so we are doing that only over here so for that guys uh, so we are going to use a pre trained model so we are using transfer learning over here and more particularly we are using word to vector model 
so we already have a pretrained model what to make and we have another model embedding so we can use these two pretrained models for this uh, for converting our text into an embedding vector okay so once you convert your this text sentence into a embedding vector now we this is the embedding vector now we want to add some random noise right we want to concatenate the random voices uh, in this embedding vector and we will get some array okay so this whole process is known as conditioning augmentation okay so <coughs> sorry embedding vector concatenated with random noise and we will get some d dimensional array that uh, embedding vector that dimensional d dimensional array will become input to the generator so guys now you can see in this whole image we have two stages this is one stage and this is second stage so we have generator and discriminator one time this is called first stage and then we have again we have generator and discriminator so this is a second stage so we have two stages in stackgen why we are using these two stages i'll explain you in some time okay so now generator accepts the embedding vector from here right now on that on the basis of that text a generator will generate a image of low resolution a image of 64 into 64 okay size resolution size okay so over here this 64 into 64 image simply means uh this image will capture a low level features like what is the color of the object what is the shape of the object these kind of things so you can see this is the fake sample generated by our generator which is of shape 64 into 64 so this is a low resolution fake image generated by the generator okay and this low resolution fake image is uh giving us the detail of low level features like what is the shape you can see roughly we can know the shape and the color of the object from here so this is what we are getting from the generator of stage 1 and this is the real sample which is of size 64 into 64 now these two samples will go to discriminator and discriminator will or uh, in the in the form of pair right this is the image and related caption will go with it okay so finally discriminator will tell on the basis of this training right on the basis of this training if the re image is real and the caption is real output would be one of discriminator and this is a combination this would be the output and if this would be the pair and then this would be the output so uh, i have shown image over here but with the image there is a caption also that pair will go to discriminator and discriminator will finally classify um between the real or fake okay now the output of this first stage the output of the generator of this first stage will become the input to a generator of second stage okay so guys you can see in this picture over here what is the difference between the generator of first stage and the generator of second stage so generator of first stage is having one input only which is a text embedding but generator of second stage have text embedding okay but additionally we are providing a image also which is of size 64 into 64 and which is generated by the generator of first stage means this image means to generator of second stage we are providing a fake image which is generated by the generator of first stage and what this um, what this image is having this image is basically a low resolution image okay so we are providing that low resolution image to the generator now generator will you know try to refine the result try to refine the image which it gets from the stage 1 it will refine that image and will give us high resolution image okay so over here we are focusing on high level features like uh, its door its light and the tires 
so we are focusing on high level features over here but above in stage 1 we were focusing on low uh, level features like the shape and the color of the object but in second stage as this is a high resolution we are making um, a low resolution image which we got from the stage 1 we are um, you know we are working on that image and we are trying to improve that image and over here we will convert a fake image of size 256 into 256 which is a high resolution image now this is the image generated by our uh, generator and this is the image of our real data set again both the images with their captions will go to the discriminator and discriminator will find out whether that sample is a fake sample or a real sample okay so this is how stack can work now guys and this would be the okay so these are the few images of red cards we get see these are the images we haven't clicked this ima these images with the camera we got these results by stack can uh, by performing this text to image generation these images were generated by our generator of stack cans okay so now guys okay how stack can gives us good result see this uh, text to image generation this task can be done by other gan networks also there are other gan networks like attentional gans and conditional gans we can perform this functionality text to image generation by using those gan networks also but the problem is uh, that this image generation process takes lots of time right and uh, uh, basically using that attentional gan and the conditional gan we were not getting you know good results so but stack gan gives good result now what is the reason why stack gan how stack gan gives us good result so the reason behind it is this stage 1 and the stage 2 these two stages because of the this functionality these two stages stack gan gives good result so basically what is happening in stage 1 stage 1 basically we have divided the work in two parts okay the stage 1 is taking care of capturing a uh, low resolution image which will you know uh, which will capture the details like the shape and the color of the object and in stage 2 we are refining the results we are refining that image right so we have divided the work in two stages so that's why um we are getting that's why stack gan gives us good result because we have divided the work in two parts and every part is focusing on the work which have assigned to that particular stage so that's how stack gan gives us good result so guys that's it in my next video i'll show you the practical implementation means how to uh, practically generate images from text that we will see in our next video So guys hope you like my video thank you for watching